Hello Aquarius and welcome to your December reading. So before I start I want to announce that I'm doing another contest for the winter solstice and the new year. Uh, so uh, I'm going to pick this time out of the subscribers that comment, uh, made a comment, uh, commentary, commentaire. <laughs> So, uh, just write uh, something about the video and uh, express uh, your will to have a reading and uh, subscribe, of course. And from you, I will pick a winner and announce it in next month's video. So, Aquarius, I meditated on your energy and pulled out the first layer of cards and what I got. What Spirit wants to talk to you about this month. First card, Nine of Wands. So that's the wounded warrior, the guy that went to war many times, won a few, lost a few, but he's geared up for what comes in front of him. After that, though, I have Justice and the Empress. So that tells me that, see, Justice can be some of you will go to court maybe, but mostly justice is that from a clear understanding, she has a sword in her hand, she will bring balance. So understanding clearly the situation will, from a decision, bring balance into your life. When it comes to your divine feminine, the Empress, your capacity to manifest abundance, unconditional love, ruled by Venus, and all of that. After that, I have the Pope. So that gives you the keys. Pope is discernment. Pope is engagement. Pope is the representation of what we understand spiritually into our reality. So... Whatever justice brings through an understanding and a balancing of a situation will give you the keys here. Keys to understand, keys to act, keys to move to a new uh, situation uh, through discernment, through understanding that your reality was not based on only what you could physically see, but there was other things working behind emotionally, uh, vibrationally, and all of those uh, invisible uh, dimensions. Under our wounded warrior, I have the Emperor and the Five of Cups. So, for some of you, this can represent the sorrow and the disappointments when it comes to the Divine Masculine others of you this is trying to manage and control our lives based on the disappointments and the sorrow that we had in our lives so uh, because the emperor acts will act in life make decisions and things like that to, to control his empire make sure that everybody's uh, you know is okay every part of us is okay uh, but with the five of cups so if inside of the emperor there's this sorrow and sadness you will have a hard time with the actions inspired from that that's why uh, justice has to come and justice comes in a way to make the wheel of fortune turn from a situation where we are stuck mentally, we don't know what to do, what is the next move, we're kind of stuck in a situation that maybe things kept repeating themselves into understanding this one more sword here, that clarity, so that we can get out of a situation where we could feel the uncomfort and we didn't know how to manage or control it. And it's our wounded warrior here that was wary of what the universe will bring next, you know. Will of fortune turning. After that, I have the seven of cups. But with what is, come, is coming here, that tells me that 
out of the confusion that you could have had before in the way you could perceive what is in front of you or the decisions you were making based on emotions that were you know up and down going every way this is great this is awful uh, you know that cloud of unknowing since you receive discernment that tells me that it's going to be discernment on your seven of cups on how maybe uh, because seven of cups is emotional projections on possibilities so getting the discernment on that under here our uh, wounded warrior our emperor um, that means our masculine side uh, you know ruling over our disappointments and things like that trying to control that not understanding where it comes from well yes now you're going to understand that clarity that gives the opportunity of justice to come in and balance here is going to be right here. Ace of Sword. And Ace of Swords, we have to grab it, but we will grab it professionally. King of Sword, and that's you. A clear understanding now of what is in front of you. See, that's why Justice, Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords. You grab that understanding and it pushes the wheel of fortune, removing all the fogginess, like the emotional fogginess of what is out there. And there you have a beautiful two of cups. So maybe you were dealing with uh, a union you didn't know how to take, you were worried about. Is this person going to hurt me or disappoint me like it happened before? I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. Now you see clearly. You have the discernment on all those emotional projections and you get a real two of cups, a real beautiful connection. So let's clarify this Whoops for Aquarius. I call upon the Divine, I call upon the Light, I call upon the Holy Spirit, I call upon my guides. Help me clarify this reading for Aquarius, for the month of December, for their better path. Aquarius, for the month of December, for their better path. Okay, what is that Nine of Wands for Aquarius Spirit? That tells me that all of that, uh, you know, comes from your past, the past experience, what you fed from emotionally from your past experiences. And here I have the High Priestess. So that tells me that it did affect um, everything that is ruled by the moon. Um, that means your perception of spirituality, how you would uh, your intuition and all of that with the nine of wands our intuition is uh, a bit obstructed in a way because we are defensive our fears kind of put a uh, kind of glasses on our spirituality in the sense of our intuition of how our link to our soul that wants to express itself so Justice. What will justice bring? Ah, an inner decision under the moon based on your uh, high priestess here. So that new understanding you will have to make an inner decision. Maybe some of you uh, about an empress, about your divine feminine. Empress. Should 
show me the Empress. Ah, Empress. Okay. So we're talking here about some of you, you could be dealing with a water sign, but we're talking about the divine feminine per se. Your capacity to absorb, attract unconditional love and to emanate unconditional love uh, and having it for yourself also. That abundance of creativity, uh, that abundance of uh, in every manner. So, like opening the floodgate there, Venus. So that understanding, justice wants to come for you to make that inner choice about your divine feminine. The Pope. Why is the Pope here? Hmm. Maybe choosing to bring so something solid forward. With the Pope, this is commitment. This is engagement. This is, uh, we commit and we engage into uh, a path, into something we truly want to grow and it will be solid, very solid with the Knight of uh, Pentacle and the uh, Pope there. Um, giving you the key to bring something forward that has commitment in it. If it's a love relationship, it's a committed love relationship. It's a, if it's a business idea, a creativity that you want to bring forward, it will be something that will have a strong, rooted impact into things. Um, okay, so Emperor and the Five of Cups. Okay. Oh, Four of uh, Pentacle. So that tells me that you were holding on to that. Holding on to the past disappointments like this is my reality. And because of that, I am not risking anything. I am not opening myself up. I'm going to stay aloof in a way. I will not invest myself too much because I'm afraid to lose even more than I have lost in the past. I am wounded and I carry this with me. So my actions out there will be of restriction. I am here, but I can I spotted the exit right as I'm coming in the door. You know, that kind of mm. eight of swords. So of course this is like okay, but you know, there's an incomfort in that. This is not what your higher self wants. Your higher self wants to commit and connect to something or somebody. So you felt stuck here. Eight of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. So that understanding, that inner choice will actually move the Wheel of Fortune for you. Seven of uh, Cups wanted to come out. <clears throat> you were probably in jail because of all the emotional projections you would do on what is outside of you. So that is transferred, uh, see the Seven of Cups wanted to come out. I think that's what puts you in that mental jail. But then our King of Swords arrives, the one that is here, there. That has only one sword, not two. And will use it with discernment to make a decision. King of Swords. And that will move the Wheel of Fortune on our Seven of Cups. So in a way the Seven of Cups here would be uh, reversed in a sense. It's mastering and understanding, having clarity on all of that emotional confusion that was there before. Conflict. That probably brought conflict and it was because you couldn't believe that there was something more out there for you see you were just looking at all oh, that the cups that were 
dropped on the floor and you were holding in because you didn't want to risk any more grief and all of that. So that kind of put you into that, yeah, well, this is what I've known, those three cups here. I cannot see that there's another way. That's why that clarity had to come. And here is the clarity, Ace of Sword. That created conflict inside of you, not knowing where to put your will forward or probably creating conflict with the people around you because of your perception of their actions. Then you would counteract in a certain way based on this. Ace of Sword, what is the, the clarity Aquarius is getting? What is the clarity Aquarius is getting? Ah, that's interesting. Ace of Cup, clarity on uh, emotions here. Ace of Cup, clarity on how we allow love to come into our life. Clarity on the fact that the universe wants to give it to us all the time. Here we grab that clarity page of sword. We then we get the the, and here we have the five of sword. So five of cups, five of swords. This is in a way maybe how we sabotage uh, the our capacity to have a union, to have something committed, to have unconditional love, because we didn't know a better. We maybe used to outwit others just to protect ourselves, you know, the way, uh, because you're a sword sign. That means that mentally you can defeat uh, the other or yourself in order to protect yourself. But that put you in a kind of mental jail where nothing was happening. And that's why you had to bring that decision in brought by the divine justice that energy of justice is that energy that wants to rebalance things and that's what you're gonna do here knight of swords you're really going for it i just need the queen of swords and we have the whole kingdom there whoops ah death perfect it is also maybe because and see that transformation, accepting, uh, or that can also be Scorpio season, we're in it. But it is understanding that that has to transform, that that has to die and purify itself. So our Eight of Swords become a Ten of Swords, and th because we get that clarity, and so we can finish that cycle of swords here because we have that understanding. Eight, ten, you probably had worry. This was happening inside of you, the moon. You get the clarity on what you didn't really understand that was ruling your perception and the way you made decision in this world. And now you're going to let it transform. And those two are a quest Here, you listen to your fears, your wounded warrior, the one that carries his griefs and his disappointments in him and doesn't want to risk anything. An owl at the moon at what you don't know and is invisible. Or your tamed part, uh, kind of inspired by your higher self. You walk that path to get the enlightenment behind the moon. To get the understanding of what is happening behind the scene and all that invisible thing. So crossing those two pillars. And here are those two pillars with the sun here. So by understanding that this is like the quest. And passing through a passages that will allow transformation to purify. So that is a beautiful transformation. And here it gives you the two of cups. So that means being able to have uh, the mirrors in your life that are um, vibrating at a higher level, that are willing to offer and you to um, receive as much. 
and here I have the Knight of Wands. So this is a connection maybe that you feel very passionate about and you're willing to fight for. See, out of the conflict now, there's like, I know now what I want and I want that connection. I am willing with discernment to move forward with something solid. Out of my confusion on every level, now I know this is what I want and I want to fight for it. Maybe a union here. This is what I want to manifest. I am clear about it now. So, I don't know what's going to happen with you, but it's for sure, if you get that realization inside of you this month, if you let justice that happen so that you that clarity can come in and that you can move the wheel of fortune, uh, this for sure will give you the capacity to move forward solidly into uh, something you passion a connection you passionately want. Uh, a passionate connection. So, on this, I'm going to wish you a beautiful month of December, Aquarius. Thank you very much for all of you that gave donations. It helps more than you think. And this month also, on the new moon and the full moon, I'm going to do a little ceremony to give you back the way the universe see uh, sees fit. Um, don't forget the contest, so subscribe and leave a comment. Um, and uh, so on this, our private readings, all the descriptions are below here. So on this, I'm going to wish you a beautiful month of December. Namaste. And uh, I'll see you next month. All right. Bye-bye.